Hello everyone, it is Christine back for another Thrifty Thursday. One of my favourite days of the week where I get to share some of the things I have found secondhand or reclaimed. So on the weekend, I was taking Travis for a walk at one of our favourite parks and we stopped by the reverse art truck, which is actually a shed, not a truck. But I got some lovely goodies. I was hoping to potentially pick up some more of the um, Italian cottons, but I only got a few of those, but found lots of other fantastic things. And the great thing is the stock changes all the time. It depends what they're picking up from businesses in Melbourne, manufacturers and others um, of their surplus um, goods that would otherwise be heading to landfill but can be recycled by those um, that want to use them at their schools as part of art classes but also the general community who want to come in and fill up a bag um, for a very small price. So what you're seeing in front of me um, today and what I'll take you through was $10. So it's all just judged on the size of the bag. This was just a, a smaller sized um, I guess shopping um, carry sort of bag size. So first up, I got some lovely um, wools. So they have various yarns um, in a bucket down the side and you're just meant to take one or one or two of these. So I got this lovely um, cotton eight ply yarn from Lincraft. So it looks like it's never, never been actually used. And I thought this is a thin enough one that I can even um, potentially stitch with it as well. So that was nice. And then I got this Senso DMC Crochet Quick Finish Microfiber Cotton. And that's again, totally new. And it's still even got its price tag on it um, from where, wherever it was originally bought for $4.70. So that's that's half of my $10 already just in that, that one ball of wool. And then I always love picking up a couple of, um, or a few vintage patterns. So I got some more lovely ones. How cool is that? I actually wouldn't mind wearing some of these these dresses still. I think that one's that one's a lovely. Not sure I'd be as much into this one, but um, yeah, super super cool. And then these ones, again, very cute and almost got a bit of a modern look with the the boots and the um, the sort of pinafore style dress. I've been wearing my share of skivvies lately as well because um, it's so cold, so it keeps me warm. So that's um, three of those those patterns. Um, they have a bunch of these little bags still. I've picked them up previously, but I find they're really handy just to keep um, things like threads and other things in them. Um, they've got a little zip on the top. I guess they're originally a little cosmetic pouch. Um, so just a zip and then they expand out um, to form a little case. So I do keep various things in them. In fact, I think in my um, craft cupboard I've got some of these other little cork um, pieces kept in some of them um, so these ones are what I've used as the base for when I made a thread painted brooch um, or a couple of brooches for my mum and um, Alex's mum for Mother's Day so they're really great and then there's ones that are more in the shape I guess of a little a little plaque or something um, so I've got a variety of ones there so I might do just that and pop these ones into this little little bag. So there's plenty there to, to make use of. Put that down as well. And then they had these, which I hadn't seen the previous time I was there, which are these massive um, rolls of twine. Um, I haven't actually opened it to have a look. Let me grab a pair of scissors. Well, maybe it's actually elastic. I, th I thought it was twine, but it seems, I don't know. Let's have a look. Now I'm curious. So it's actually um, elastic. How amazing is that? <laughs> I don't think I will ever need um, elastic again in my, in my life. Maybe, um, maybe someone overordered at the time when everyone was making um, face masks and things. Who knows? But that is. So if anyone um, in Melbourne needs some, needs some elastic, um, yeah, definitely. I can be definitely use in my garden, though, when I'm sort of, yeah, tying up um, plants and things for summer. So I will definitely find a use for that. As well as in stitchery. 
Um, and then I'd got some of this the previous time, but a few of my um, subscribers and commenters mentioned they were quite keen for some. So I thought I'd pick up a little bit more and then I can um, share around the love with that because it makes a great background for slow stitch. Um, and Christina Creates mentioned that it would be great for tea dyeing. And I was thinking, yeah, other sorts of dyeing. Um, as well as encasing um, slow stitched things in it. So got a bit more of that. There's still a massive bucket of it at the reverse art truck. They also had this one, um, which is a similar sort of, almost again, looks like a stocking, um, but got this sort of, yeah, meshiness. But I thought the colors white and red could come in handy for something a bit Christmassy. So I've got a few, few bits of that. And then you're probably curious about what this box is. So these are, as best as I can tell, some sort of tile. So they've sort of got a beveled um, edge on it. They say intense ultra black. They say high max acrylic solid surface. And from LG. So color may vary slightly from this sample. Shows less scratches, dust, marks, and whitening after thermoforming with excellent thermoforming capabilities. So I'm going to have to look up what this actually is, whether it is um, intended as a tile or whether it's intended to somehow shape it into something else. But what I was thinking is, um, and it does like it sounds like a sort of a ceramic. Um, but I was thinking it would make a great base, like little um, coasters perhaps, and that you could actually um, put some decoupage and then um, sort of glue on them, or maybe even little um, photos you could print and then, um, yeah, transfer the photos over and they could just um, be a nice little sitting, sitting on a desk. Um, so I've got a bunch of those to have a play around with. And the box is super heavy. And again, they just had boxes upon boxes of these ones. And then some fabrics. So this fabric has a nice little bit of stretch, which I thought might be nice for making um, some little pouches or other things where you do want to have a bit of bit of stretch built into it. And it's just a lovely um, checked design just with a back. It almost feels like a, not quite a wetsuit material because it's not that thick, but it's kind of got a bit of a, a vibe of that. This one is, feels like a cotton and looks very similar to the um, cottons that I get from um, Italy. Let's just see what it, yep, cotton, I think, because its composition is C100. So I think 100% cotton. And this one is 67% cotton. I'm assuming 29% nylon and probably 4% spandex. Oh yeah, because it does have a little bit of um, stretch in it. But always on the lookout for the ones with lines because they're great for my little project that I'm doing as a stitch along with a bunch of lovely folks on here where we're creating a dictionary of stitches and just having the most wonderful time. We've been having lovely chats in the um, live chat associated with the, the premieres. So I generally premiere them at 10 p.m. here which is often morning time in the US, afternoon sometimes in the UK. And I've been just having lovely, lovely live chats with folks. So this one's a nice um, sort of see-through with black flowers on it. Again, just um, great for adding interesting effects to things. Then a piece of woven fabric again it could be just really good for making interesting backgrounds on things so this one's 99 percent cotton and one percent polyester and it comes from puerto rico i always oh actually no puerto it says maybe the name's puerto rico but it's actually from prato in italy so i'm not sure maybe it's that yeah that's just the the name i think there must be quite a manufacturing um fabric manufacturing in Prato, Italy, because I've seen that come up quite a lot. This is just um, probably, yeah, polyester 100%, but again, it can just be used for background and it's a really nice neutral, neutral color. Then we've got this one, which is um, again, a synthetic, but with interesting floral and then an over, over stripe. Um, in fact, it's actually like a woven, or stitched gold over stripe. So that's a bit of fun. 
And then I love my furnishing fabric. So this is a furnishing sample from Larsen. Um, and got just a lovely um, diamond weave in it. And a really nice weight of, weight of fabric as well. And then a strip without a, a label on it of just a lovely cotton with a pink um, print. So blue with a pink. So that's nice. Another strip, quite a long strip actually, of and this feels like a linen and a cotton blend um, with nice blue blue stripes. Always handy to have the, the white and blue stripes, and that could be great. A little bit of that in one of my um, Roxy Journal Stitchery treasure hunt pieces, my blue and white and silver one. This one is just a lovely um, fabric. I think it, yep, it's. PET, so I think that's like recycled nylon and cotton. Um, but again, just a lovely neutral and would be great in backgrounds. These ones are good because they act almost like a felt. They don't really tend to fray much. Um, and they've also got a nice thickness to them. So they're good as backing um, and even good inside my little project pouches that I've shared in other, other videos. This one um, is a see-through with lines across it and it's sort of shot through with gold um, as well as the white line. So that's a bit of fun and again just great to add a bit of bit of background. A little example of a, a little sample of a rose fabric. Again, just fun to play with. Some lovely 86% cotton, 14% viscose. Um, but just nice woven cotton fabric in some nice pastel sort of gelati colours. And then a white textured piece and a black smaller sample. And finally um, a green piece with some purple, black and orange. So that is my little little haul for, for ten dollars. Very happy with that. It's um yeah, just fantastic being able to pop down there, take the dog for a walk. Travis gets to come in and loves to have a have a bit of a, a shop. Oh, he also got a um a cardboard tube that he enjoys playing with as well. So everyone's happy. And I'll let you go. Hope you're having a great thrifty Thursday and that you've had some good finds yourself. And if you've posted a video, let me know and I'd love to love to check it out. Thanks everyone. Take care. Bye.